Assalamualaikum and hi to Sir Muhammad Zulfatli bin Saifuddin, our favorite English ELC 650 professor. We have produced a slight presentation of video critics based on our analysis of the film entitled Up in the Air, which we would like to share with you today. To begin, please allow me to introduce myself and my group partner. In this photo, I'm Alia Akilah bin Tisharif, metric number 2020984697. And I'm with my wonderful and brilliant partner, Nur Hafizah Binti Ibrahim, metric number 2020-952991. As a first step, we would like to give a brief synopsis of the film. Up in the Air is a 2009 American comedy drama film directed by Jason Reitzman. It was written by Reitzman and Sheldon Turner based on the 2001 novel Up in the Air by Walter Kahn. Throughout the film, Ryan Bingham, Josh Clooney, works at a downsizing business while planning his travels. The film also stars Vera Farmiga, Anna Kendrick, and Danny McBride. The summary of this film was an idea from a young new employee. Anna Kendrick presents a proposal that would stop downsize Ryan Bingham's Josh Clooney's continued travel. So he takes her on a trip to demonstrate the need for face-to-face -face meetings with individual they must terminate. During his mentorship of his colleague, he organized connection with another frequent flyer, Vera Farmiga, and his increasing affection for the lady causes him to see others in a new light. Okay, now we are going to take a look at the video of Mr. Ryan Bingham and Miss Natalie at the airport, which is the incident being the ability to impart knowledge. Let's look together. Bingo, Asians. You can't be serious. Never get behind people traveling with infants. Never seen a stroller collapse in less than 20 minutes. Old people are worse. Their bodies are littered with hidden metal and they never seem to appreciate how little time they have left on Earth. There you go. Five words, randomly selected for additional screening. Asians. They pack light, travel efficiently, and they got a thing for sleep. All right, as we can see from the video clip, Mr. Ryan Bingham took a talkative step forward to explain all the situation at the airport to Miss Natalie, who indicate the area where she had acquired the new information. For the positive effect, Mr. Ryan Bingham clearly does not hesitate to share information with Miss Natalie. Furthermore, while at the airport, Miss Natalie gets the opportunity to discover new things. Mr. Ryan Bingham's optimistic attitude demonstrates that he is willing to share information and can assist his new staff in becoming informed as well. Here's a recommendation I would like to make. As thoughtful and open-minded individuals, we should share our expertise with others of all levels, age, and professions. By sharing what is known, one can benefit both oneself and the person being told. If you contribute a lot, you can also gain a lot of knowledge as well. That's it for the first incident. On to the second video where we can see a new employee, Miss Natalie, being professional when conducting her first meeting. Let's view the video together. Global. Our global must become local. This company keeps 23 people on the road at least 250 days a year. It's expensive and it's inefficient. When I came to Craig three months ago with this, he told me, and quite astutely, it's only a problem if you have a solution. Well, today I stand before you with just that. Based on the video shown earlier, it appears despite the fact that she is new employee, but she, which is Miss Natalie, exudes confidence, boldness, and professionalism. Also, she maintained eye contact and appropriate body language with all audience. Other than that, the presentation is given in front of a more talented and experienced group of senior colleagues. The good effect is Miss Natalie will inevitably acquire greater and grow in self-confidence and purpose in her profession, as well as gain the respect of her more senior colleagues. Additionally, she will benefit by being respected by others and regarded as a great person. That recommendation, I believe that for us to achieve our full potential as individuals, we must learn how to improve and enhance our own talents and abilities. This is because it is very important to compete and critical for our work success when working with other employees. That's all there is to the second incident. This following video demonstrates an example of being interrupted by someone during a meeting. So let's watch a video clip about it.
Unemployment is, what, 250 bucks a week? Is that one of your positive effects? Well, we'll get to be cozier, because I'm not going to be able to pay my mortgage on my house, so maybe we can move into a nice fucking one-bedroom apartment somewhere. And I guess without benefits, I'll be able to hold my daughter as she, you know, suffers from her asthma that I won't be able to afford the medication for. Well, as we watch the video, it becomes clear that the discussion Mr. Ryan Bingham Miss Natalie was taken back by Mr. Ryan Bingham's talk with his colleagues. During this time, Miss Natalie became the third person to hear employee stories and expressions, while the employee told the chief Ryan Bingham the story. But Miss Natalie was interrupted in the middle of the story. As a matter of fact, it will have a negative effect that Mr. Ryan Bingham's concentration will be shattered as a result of the conflict between him and his staff. After that, this leads to the employee's story stopping and stagnating, and also the issue of not being able to give and resolve the solution as quickly afterwards. Therefore, in these recommendation situations, I would like to suggest that it is not appropriate for a person to stop the discussion between two individuals so that their attention is not diverted, such as Miss Natalie's interruption between Miss Ryan Bingham and his employees. Miss Natalie had to wait until their conversation ended before interrupting them politely and respectfully. That's it for that incident. The presenter will be followed by my partner, Miss Nur Hafiza. Next is Incident 4, Begin Rudely with Other Colleagues. Let's watch the scene. You wanted to see me? Well, um, yeah, you know what? Yeah, come on in. Come on in here. Great job. Thank you. How's everyone taking it? Great. Listen, uh, I admire your... Uh, uh, your zeal, and I think you have some very good ideas, but you know nothing about the realities of my industry. You can set up an iChat, but you don't know how people think. Actually, I minored in psychology. Nice. Okay, kiddo, fire me. Ryan. Well, listen, she's gonna be doing this on a regular basis. Don't you wanna know if she can fire somebody? She's fired Ned. My dog can fire Ned. Fire me. You don't need to do this. No, it's okay. I got this. Mr. Bingham. I regret to inform you that your position at this company is no longer available. Hmm. Who the hell are you? My name is Miss Keener. I'm here today to discuss your future. My future? The only one who could fire me is Craig Gregory. Mr. Gregory hired me to handle this for him. Handle what? Handle me? Mr. Gregory hired me. He's the only one who could fire me. You know what? I'm going to go talk to him. Mr. Bingham. No, no, no. You can't follow me. You're on a computer screen, remember? Ryan. All right, let's try this again. Fire me again. I just did. Actually, you didn't. Fire me. That's enough. I think we get it. Mr. Bingham, yeah. I'm here today to inform you that your position is no longer available. I'm fired? Yes, you're fired. Never say fired. You've been let go. Why? This is a mythical situation. How could I possibly know why? Well, why doesn't matter. You never know why. It's important not to focus on the why and rather to spend your energy thinking about your future. Well, I'm going to spend my energy on suing you unless you give me a good reason why you're firing Mr. me. Mr. Bingham, the reason's not important. So you're firing me without grounds. Now I really have a lawsuit. I get what you're trying to say, Ryan. Don't take this personally, Mr. Bingham. Personally? This is the most personal situation that you are ever going to enter. So before you try to revolutionize my business, I'd like to know that you actually know my business. The scene starts that Mr. Ryan Bingham was disagreed with Miss Natalia's proposal because of the way of their job. The way of their job is needed to be two-way communication so that there is no misunderstanding when the dismissal process takes place. Because of that, Miss Ryan Bingham expressed his disapproval fully to Miss Natalia in front of their boss. The effect of the behavior will be caused other colleagues will be feel discouraged with their idea and drop their faces in front of the boss. In my opinion, we must control our emotional while working and must take care of their feelings of other colleagues even if there are different opinions. The next incident 5 is being too emotional. Never? No. Ever? No. You never want to get married? Nope. Never want kids? Not a chance. Ever? Never. Is that so bizarre? Yes. Yes, it is. I just don't see the value in it. All right, 
Sell it to me. What? Sell me marriage. Okay, how about love? <laughs> Stability, just somebody you can count on. How many stable marriages do you know? Somebody to talk to, someone to spend your life with. I'm surrounded by people to talk to. I doubt that's gonna change. <sighs> how about just not dying alone? Starting when I was 12, we moved each one of my grandparents into a nursing facility. My parents went the same way. Make no mistake, we all die alone. Now, those cult members in San Diego with the Kool-Aid and the sneakers, they didn't die alone. I'm just saying there are options. Oh, fuck. Brian left me. Okay, all right. It started the discussion when Miss Natalie asked Mr. Ryan Begum about his opinion about love. For Miss Natalie's, Mr. Ryan Begum's view was ridiculous and caused them to have a mark war. This happened due to Miss Natalie's is too emotional because she broke up with her boyfriend. The effect can be causing in this scene is Mr. Ryan Bacon was sympathy and taught Miss Natalia about the love described by Mr. Ryan Bacon. However, an overly emotional attitude can cause other employees feel uncomfortable with this. We need to spread between personal and work. My suggestion is that sometimes we need the views of more experienced people in life so that we do not choose the wrong path of our life. In addition, we need to be professional in the workplace. We must control our emotional even when we are under stress. The work stress can affect the productivity as well as performance of the organization. The next is Incident 6 Using Other Harsh Words My name is Miss Keener, and I'm here today to talk about your options. And I worked for this company for 17 years, and they sent a fourth grader to can me. What the fuck is this? It's perfectly normal to be upset. However, the sooner you can tell yourself that greater opportunities are waiting greater for you. Opportunities. I'm 57 fucking years old. Anybody who ever built an empire or changed the world sat where you are now. And it's because they sat there that they were able to do it. The scene starts when an employee will be fired by Miss Natalie with her method by using the medium and the employee is little upset about it and he used rude word to Miss Natalie. However, Miss Natalie was very professional despite being scolded by the employee in that situation. This behavior can make other people feel discomfort at the time and causing other co-workers will be sarcastic for misunderstanding for using the wrong word. I recommend that we must use proper body language by display good character and using kind words to other colleagues so that all colleagues can get along well. The conclusion I can make based on this story is we need to use appropriate body language and words when dealing with other employees so that all workers can get along well. In addition, we need to be professional at work and among colleagues and needed to spread between personal and work. Next is, we need to listen to the views of people who are more skilled than us. We need to lower our egos while trying to get the best result. And the last but not least, we need to respect other colleagues and courtesy among colleagues. That's all from us. Thank you for hearing and stay safe everyone.